in uh, this video I'll be talking about the use of groups so in uh, ArcGIS Online groups is a really powerful tool for managing access to data so if we um, shortly look at here so if we go to the groups tab um, there are really two aspects you should be aware of you can use group to share your data so if you are in a project group and want to share the group uh, data with that uh, when that group you will have to create the, a group for that you can also see that for many of the courses you will automatically be rolled into a group and um, and if i now create a group so i could say if i was in a project group i would say create group call this group semester project oh. about something rather uh, semester project something rather uh, give it a summary to what it's about always makes it management of things much easier you have to give it a, some tag so it could be rook it could be Meta project it could be some more about what it's about um, in general RJS online is really uh, heavy on the use of tags because being a social GIS um, the ability to find things is really important so giving good names short descriptions tags is really important once you have your group, you can say who is allowed to see the group, only group members or everyone. So that says what you decide there. And then you create the group. And once you have created the group, you can invite other people to join your group. So you can say invite users. And uh, for instance, invite me. So um, here I am. And you can just invite me to the group you can also invite people from outside the organization so if they have a uh, ArcGIS um, online account so if we tick this one off here so it's not only the university and we can go and look for Holmes's and uh, and we can invite uh, David Holmes just because he's also called Holmes um, I won't do that but um, but you can, as you can see, you can invite people from outside the organization. Another aspect which is really useful with your, your groups is that you uh, go back to the groups. You can see which groups you are a member of. So if you want to have access to data that is shared by other people, you can ask to join the group. One of the groups that um, is really nice to be a part of is, um, oh, I should make this here. So, by note, note that there's, there's some different magnifying search opportunities. So, this search down here searches my groups. So, that looks within your groups. The search up here, that searches ArcGIS Online. So, if I want to find a group that I'm not a member of, I'll have to go up here and say, Geo info open data. So I searched this and it didn't find anything because it starts by only looking within the organization. So at the moment it's looking for contents within the organization with this search criteria in it. Okay, I switch this off to be outside. Then I will see a lot of data that is coming from this group. If I go up to the group tab here, so go from content to groups and again turn it off so I see outside the organization, then I can see this group here. So this group basically is the is the, the firm due info that's the people that sell is your products in Denmark and they have made this group where they uh, share basically the same information that we have in 
the Chord for Suning uh, plugin in QGIS. So um, if you want any of this base information, you can click on this group and you can request to join the group. This one is an open group, so anyone that you can see anyone that wants to be part of it, they can uh, they can they can. So you just say join, and it says that you have now been added to this. So if you go back to your groups, you can see that you now have this group that you are a member of. So you can now have access and you'll be you'll probably be using this in different things. So getting access to to data. Note that also that this group's function that if I go to my content, so if you or when you have created some content, I just go up to all of my content. You can see I have different contents here and this little icon shows who is this data shared with so if i wanted to share a data set i will go to my content i will click in this tab here the share one at the moment it's only shared for me if i click on that one i can share use do i want to share it with the whole organization or do i want to share it and these are those groups i can share with so if I want to share it with my semester project or the course or both, I can do that. And now this data set is shared with the entire course and with my semester project group. So groups are used for getting access to data or people have shared by joining the group and you can use it yourself to create groups and you, then you can share your own data within those groups that you are created or joined. So that was my short intro to groups in ArcGIS Online.